Oh hey, welcome to another edition of Hand Laid Tracks and 3D Printed Trains with Sukunatis. Today we're taking a look at rail rollers. If you're making a piece of straight track, you don't really need a rail roller. But if you want to make something curve, you're going to need a rail roller. If you want to make a piece of curved track, or even better, a curved turnout, you're going to need to have some way of curving the rails to the specific radius you're trying to make. In this case, this is a 9 inch by 12 inch curved turnout. So I needed to make both 9 inch curved rails and 12 inch curved rails. The outer rails are 12 and the inner rails are 9 inch. So with the rail roller, it was a pretty simple task. You can download the STLs from Thingiverse and you can print it yourself. There's a list of hardware. It takes some M8, M6, and M3 size bolts and three M8 bearings. So the hardware list is included, you can print out the things yourself, and the assembly, it's relatively straightforward, but I'll include a quick video explaining how to put it together as well. You do need to have a bent nose and straight needle nose pliers to get two of the nuts to lock against each other. It's something you only have to do once, so it's not that big of a deal. And go here, here's the quick video about how to put it together, and then following that, another quick video of me actually using it to make that curve turnout. Thanks for watching. Download it on Thingiverse. Hope you like it. If you do, like it on Thingiverse and see you again soon after the videos. <laughs> so the list of hardware is here. You can see it. Uh, basically the M3 nuts, all the, all the nuts squeeze into the, into the fittings pretty close. The, M, the M8 nuts are relatively loose. They're not super tight. The M3 is a little bit tight. If you line them up, you can jam them in and you can pop them in once and then they're in permanently. Uh, these are the two thin M6 washers or nuts that go on the knob itself and that's why I had to use the bent nose and needle nose pliers to basically lock the two nuts against each other pretty much tight against the back, not super tight because it's got a spin. Um, then you put the thicker nut inside the beam itself, screw it all together and the whole thing slips right into it because the beam slides back and forth so it's not exactly thick. Uh, the M3 nuts or screws hold the, the four corners together. Uh, I'd let the tool spin in my hand when it gets close to being tight so you don't want it too tight because you will break the plastic. It doesn't have to be very tight anyway. Uh, so just slightly snugged it up is fine. The M8 uh, bolts, two and a half millimeter, or two and a half centimeter bolts. I put two washers under the bearing because it holds the bearing up a little higher and there's three of these. Two are fixed and one is in the moving beam. Again slide them in tightened up snugly with your M8 and just like that you've got yourself a working uh, rail roller and the way it basically works is you move it in and out to the proper position and as you slowly get it tighter you'll get it to where you have it more or less set up at this point the orange one was already set up for about a 12 inch so I really just pushed it through the one time and you always want to push the rail through you don't want to pull them because it kind of straightens it back out so it came out almost perfectly to the 12 I didn't want to reset that rail roller to 9, and I have multiple rail rollers at, the, rollers at this point, so I just started the, uh, the, the blue one to get it into place. That was wide open when I started, and I wanted to go to it slowly, because in the past, if you go really fast, you can end up with a really quick uh, curved rail. It's not a big deal. You can turn the roller basically around, and you can flatten it back out again. But in a couple turns later, I ended up with a nice piece of uh, curved rail. Like I said, in this case, I'm making a, the curved turnout, so I needed a six or nine inch and a 12 inch rail, one for each side. And from there, you sort of start snap cutting the pieces up, and you continue with the curved turnout build, which is on another video. But that's the rail roller. Download it on Thingiverse. It's really helpful if you're making curved tracks. I think it should work on anything that you're trying to make a curve into. I mean, if you have a certain kinds of, of metal rods, it'll probably turn well, relatively well as well. So. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up and a like on Thingiverse if you can, and uh, we'll see you again next time soon.